Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 61 of my Diary Wolf 21.18 Let's Play. Check it out. <laughs> I've got the best spot in the world. Look at this. Look at this view. I've just been sitting here for like 10 minutes looking around. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. <laughs> Not even finished with this tower. And I love it. Um, <laughs> I want to get the rest of it done too, but it's just nice having that, <laughs> having it there, even though it's not finished. And look at our area over here. It's it's looking so beautiful. I love the nature's forest. Uh, <laughs> I love the big pink tree and the golden leaves on the oaks. I got a big fat tree farm over there. <laughs> I'll go show you close up our cozy cottage, the dire factory. It's just a really good view. Look at that. All the stuff. I love it. <laughs> so uh, today, in today's episode, we are going to do stuff. Oh, well, first of all, we're going to go check out this uh little whirly spring tree farm oh it looks so great i just planted some trees around some different ones got our little whirly spring blossom here and he's around here somewhere it's very happy i think let's see uh, options, options. Uh, mini map and able group Okay, now you can see he's so very happy and it just built it for him. He's already happy. I love it. Um, let me get that out of there. Uh, so, I got uh, some dark oak. I got like three, three, no, four, three or four, no, three or four of them. I don't remember. I got a big ancient oak here, ancient uh, tree, and uh, believe it or not, that little guy is going to eat some ancient logs. Look at all this stuff. Now, it's it has been quite a, a while, but look, it's amazing. The only thing I've seen that he hasn't gotten so far has been the avocados. I did pick a few at first, but I haven't for a while. And the avocados are there and ready. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. So there should be a pretty good chance of them getting them. If he's going to. I just don't think he's going to. But I did plant some nether wart. I planted some of these crimson roots, but it doesn't look like he's uh, going to <laughs> deal with those either. Because he, he harvested some of the nether wart I planted around. Uh, so maybe I just haven't given it enough time. But yeah, I love it. I love how it looks. I got a little pathway coming in here. There's always these green sparks and stuff flying around. It's, got, it's just, it turned out so perfect. I love it. I love exactly how it is. Check it out. Nice. Oh. I have, I want to set up a drink me too to get us animal stuff coming in. But I'm not sure that I want that it animals around? Maybe I do. Maybe a little noise uh, would be okay. Like, it's it's okay to walk by, you know, and, and have the cat meow at me every once in a while. I could put, like, a, a, a branch type thing over here for the tree me. Uh, I need to figure out, like, how, how big of an area it works in. I don't know if it's the same as the whirly sprig or not um because the whirly sprig's like completely different than the uh, starbuckle uh, i'm not sure that the starbuckle has a range i think it might go travel quite a ways as long as you bind it to 
the chest. I'm not 100% certain about that though. Uh, I would definitely have to double check it. But I just don't remember there being anything about the range on uh, Star Home. Let's see. Star Home. Uh, automation star bumble. Um, okay, this is just how to get it. Okay, uh, it'll pick up items, nearby items, and move them in between inventories. Uh, harvest source berries, and you may die it. Okay, this is just telling. Uh, telling him about how to bind them to a chest. And this is telling about filtering. It's telling about pathing and resting. But using a block on the, it, as long as it is on the way, it also naturally prefer grass paths. So it doesn't say anything about their range. I don't think they're limited to a 10 block radius like the Whirly Sprig is. So I need to read about the Trigby charm. Uh, yes, here's how to summon him. Uh, here's about his happiness. His home is 10 blocks in every direction. And your Dragomy's efficiency is dependent on its happiness. This may be increased for each entity nearby with a bonus for each unique type in its home. So for every different entity, you get a bonus. Not necessarily for the sheer mass of numbers. Like, you can't just cram a bunch of cows over there because then it'll be like, oh, let's see your cows all day. This sucks. So <laughs> you gotta let him see cows and sheep and chicken and pigs and you get more stuff. I guess you'll not, you'll get more stuff, but you'll get also more varied stuff. Okay, each drigme working around a hinge contributes progress. Once maximum progress has been reached, the hinge will generate items and experience gems and deposit them into nearby inventories. Each time this occurs, the hinge will require source to recharge. The number of drops and experience gems is equal to the Drigme happiness and experience value of the entities. To get started, place a chest and a jar of source next to the hinge. But what is the hinge? To summon a Drigme, use a Drigme charm on a block of mossy cobblestone. After a short time, the cobblestone will transform into a Drigme hinge. And summon your Drigme. To summon additional Drigmes, use more charms on the hinge. Casting Dispel or killing the Drigme will return your charm. Oh cool, so we can set up one system and have multiple Drigmes to increase uh, the speed, I guess? That sounds kind of cool. Ah, so that is really cool. Oh, uh, I like that. We can like let's make two of them, and we'll set this thing up because I'm I'm needing stuff. Why did I get a seed in there? Oh, also, I did find. Uh, <laughs> I looked into why I couldn't get this sneaky little pickaxe to work and recharge itself is because of uh, it. I didn't have the aura cache. It's like the mana tablet for nature's aura. So this will uh, hold aura for you on your person so that when you're out and about, Using your tools, you can stop using your tool and sneak while you're holding the tool, and then it will recharge. So I need to make this little guy as well. 
Okay, which is four infused rock, four infused ingots, and a bucket. And we can make this and it would store aura. I think you put this on the the altar, not the sacrificial altar, the other altar. <laughs> The normal non-sacrificial altar. Well, <laughs> I guess it's non-sacrificial. <clears throat> but um, so we need like four bits of iron and four bits of stone. I think you put stone on. And then we can oh, let me get a bucket too while I'm and we can go out there and do this thing. Um, I think in order to get this environmental ocular, I'm going to have to go deeper into nature's aura to get the recipe unlocked. Because I'm, or the recipe unlocked for this Rose of, of Oblivion. Uh, there's like no information on it other than you can use it in a facade. Uh, so, I would definitely want to check that out. Uh, I guess I could try and read in the book or something. I don't know that I need this guy here for this. <clears throat> oh, yes. Getting the stuff and things. I'm always happy to get new little doodads to play with. <laughs> it's really it's really fun to discover them for the first time you know what i mean <laughs> uh, oh so this is cool oh those are pretty fast Sweet. Uh, now I can go over to my table and go our cache. Sweet caching. <laughs> nice. So now I guess we put that in the altar and it starts sucking up the soil. Whoa, look at all that. Oh, it's sucking it down. It does. Okay, now it's going down. Let's just let it fill up. Ooh! <laughs> okay, we got it filled. Now let's see. Will it do it? Oh, look that it did it. Oh, that is so good. Now how much did it use? Not a whole lot. Didn't use a whole lot in there. That's, that's pretty cool. Now we have a way to get mossy anything. <laughs> That is pretty sweet. I like it. I like it. Now that's going to recharge, I guess. And oh, look, you can see the leaves turning brown. Oh, poor tree. It's dying. Oh, yes. Down, down, down. Now I get completely lost my train of thought. We were going to make freak me shards. Uh well freak me charms. So I need to find out what uh what to do about those. Like what do I need to pick up to take over to the wizard tower with me? Um so I didn't put the drink me recipe over there. What's that? It's... Whoa! It takes carrots, apples, wheat, a fish. It takes all kinds of stuff. Uh, there we go. I already have those. Also, we can clear up. I had a dream about some ratatouille and we made ratatouille happen. So there. Uh -oh. 
Also, I want to try and get some more other food. We got avocados though now too. Finally got those. We can make some sushi. That's the only thing that's been holding me back. Uh, so, yeah, that'll be nice. Be nice. Okay, so I don't think I have carrots in here. I think I moved all the food stuff over to the test kitchen. Minecraft's test kitchen has all the food stuff in there. Is it going down, bro? And we're off. Gotta go get the carrots and wheat. I don't, I, I think I have some fish stuck in here too. Here. Oh, good. Fish. A couple of carrots. I think there was wheat. I don't know if there was potatoes though. Apples. Oh, the apples are all the way back there. That's okay. That's it's on the way. It's on the way. We gotta get two apples and then we have all the source gems. A whole bunch of them waiting over there. Also, I need to check in on my little amethyst farm. Do I even know why I'm here? Apples. Yeah, because last time I checked it was bananas. I had a whole chest full of shards my all my uh whoa 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 why i am little herds i didn't i was holding my shield up and he was still getting me. You're gonna have to wait, but ah, oh, see, he won't take damage from my fire spell. I need to get away from fire because it's really bad. I can't hurt anything with this in the Nether. I need to work a lot on my spells if I'm gonna become a powerful wizard. <laughs> Okay. Oop. Alrighty then. I'm gonna get these charms made. Let's see if I have uh, two of those. Enough. Yes. Boop, 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 and a boop. I think that's everything. Oh, I think I did the math right. Oh, yes. Our very first drink me. Woo! All right. Boop, 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 and boop. And one more boop. Sweet. Uh, how do I? Is this, though? It goes in in the wrong order. Can it just go the right way? <laughs> awesome. Got our charms. Uh oh. Dude, I totally need more source jars. Uh, it's something, they're so easy to make. 
that there's no reason for me to not have these things. Yeah, it's like some slabs in glass. So for every three planks, I can make one. Um, let's just do an even 30. So that'll be 10 extra jars. Because I'm telling you, I, I, my little mob farm in there is just producing so much source right now. I can't, I can't use it all fast enough. But that's because I've got to lug around all of these jars, taking them where they're supposed to go. <laughs> so it's kind of like, is this... Okay, it's not panes, it's normal glass, so we need 20 of those, so we just make all the slabs, and then all the jars, oh yeah, so let's go deposit these down at the mob farm, and then we can get all the full ones, uh, I promise this is going to get easier, uh, there's this cool thing that I've been looking at. It's uh, how you move around your source. It's in the uh, section about source. There are these relays. And there's a relay warper uh, that when I first saw this, I was like, oh, I can't do that because not only does it have tinder pearls, it's also got hot chorus fruit, and I have to go to the end in order to get these. But you can transport things for distances uh, with these things. So I can totally transport all my source uh, around to all the cool places. I mean, how cool is that? I can't wait to get to it, but I gotta get to the end. <laughs> Gotta get to the end. So let's put some of these empty ones down and get our full ones up. Um, I, the end kind of scares me because of the void, you know? I'm always scared to go there uh, because I'm afraid I'll fall in the void and I'll lose everything. So you gotta go, and then you gotta plan about, well, when I die, I gotta take all this stuff that, well, is only like one use to me, and it, it's not gonna matter if I lose it. <laughs> you gotta strategize for these things and, and stuff. And I'm just, I don't know, I'm not in a hurry for it. I do plan on getting there, uh, and having to swap out these jars will probably give me incentive enough to go. I mean, look at that. We've already got stuff coming in over here. <laughs> I love it. Uh, this, this thing's working out like a champ. Look at this. We've already got 3.1 thousand bones. 3.2. Oh, I'm standing on the experience brain. Uh, we just got tons and tons of stuff to do with. <laughs> uh, once I get the passive mob farm coming in, we'll just have, we'll be set. <laughs> we can take over the world from here. It's going to be great. Uh, Oh, look, it's got like a little aura cache, a cache bar over there on the left. That is really cool. I just noticed that. Uh, so you can see without having to go into your inventory how much you got. That is kind of cool. Um, speaking of which, we do kind of need a mossy cobblestone for this. So let's do this. Oh, I did it wrong because I forgot. You gotta right click it. Uh -huh. Oh, and it then it got sucked up into my thing. I already had a mossy cobblestone then. Yeah, I had a couple. All right. So I kind of want to make sure 
We need a chest too. He's going to be getting us food items, but he's also going to be getting us um, like leather and wool and feathers and and stuff like that. So I don't know exactly what to do with all this stuff, how to handle it. I think I might, I could do this. I could set it up to where it would use um, an ender chest, feed into this, um, and from here, set up another ender chest with a node on it that filters out all of the uh, all of the ingredients. I can I could do it as a stalker like for this uh, <laughs> and just tell it like because I don't know where it would send the food. It might send the food to this chest or it might send it over to um, you know the this chest because I know I'm still getting fish if I put fish in here it might come in here but I think it should go over here but it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, so see watch this I think I had to list it in there tell it to send it there no I didn't <laughs> it gets sent over here to the the plant stuff uh, so I don't know why but it does so I can just have it stock any items into my other ender chest that goes over there. <laughs> I can pull, have it pull all the meat and all of uh, the eggs over to there. Uh, possibly, I don't know how it would like gather milk. Could that thing gather milk? I don't know. If I put a bucket in there, <laughs> in the chest, will it gather milk? I don't know. Uh, that would be kind of cool if it did. Right. Uh, <laughs> it's wishful thinking, though. So, what I need now is a couple more ender chests. Uh, and that's going to be more blaze, blaze rods. So, I'm pretty sure I got enough for two, so that's like eight blaze rods. I killed them for a good bit in there the other day. Yes, got enough. They still just chew me up. I only have fire protection one on here right now. I keep, I need, I need to put fire protection two on it, fire protection three, I just, I gotta prioritize. I don't know which one, which thing to do first. It's, oh, it's so overwhelming. Uh, but I love it. So now we need uh, six obsidian and two wool. Six obsidian. Two wool. Oh, and we got to get the pouch. Four leather and an eye of ender. And a boot. Now we should be set. In your pouch. Oh, dude. I only made one. Need enough for another inner pouch. I need four more leather and another inner pouch. Uh, counting is a little bit on my abilities right now, apparently. Got another pouch. I can't even count to two right now. Awesome. Uh, oh, actually, yes, yes, this is all we need. So I need to set this up to go to our main chest, which is just the plain white uh, stripes over here on the side. Uh, but the other one that I need to set up, 
uh, needs to be the green one. It's my green dye. Oh, it's here. So the other one for the food, you gotta hold shift. It's all green. Figured it was coming from the garden. It should be green, <laughs> right? So um, I don't know if I need to upgrade my mind spell for this. I'm gonna do it though. I'm gonna say amplify, create. Ah, I didn't want to lose that. <laughs> uh, so yes, so now we have our chest, we have our mossy, and we have our drigmies. Uh, but I need to set this area up and bring all the animals over here too. So that's prob I'm probably going to do that off camera. I will try and get it away over here a little bit. Maybe like right here will be the center. Yeah, I think that'll be great. I can put a little dirt in here. Doot, 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 doot. And it'll be great. You know what? Why don't I work on this for a little bit? I'll pause the video and then we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Just hold tight. Okay. <laughs> And we're back. It has been some time, but we got a basic structure built around our little cobblestone, our bossy cobblestone. Got the inner chest ready. I brought some cows and sheep over, and then I was like, oh, it's so it was so hard to drag these guys over the the river. To get them back because they were so slow. Oh, there's a massive skeleton over there. It was so slow to get them across the water. Uh, so I had to come up with some way to get a pig and chicken back without having it take forever. So I went and made a personal shrinking device because when I uh, typed in entity, all I got was like a glass bottle that looked like it might work. <laughs> so it says right click on a shrunken entity with a glass bottle to capture. So then I typed in that shrink and there are two items in this mod. A personal shrinking device and a glass bottle. So I made the personal shrinking device. It was uh, just six iron, a button, a glass, and an ender pearl. Easy peasy, charged it up. Uh, you right click with this, opens up the GUI, and you can adjust the uh, amount of shrinkage or growing that you want. Uh, and then, when you're done, you left click with the mob. It doesn't actually hit them, but it it shrinks them or grows them and then you right click them with the bottle and you get the little guys back uh, wow that's a big storm huh so let's get these guys down get some pigs I guess just right click it like an, an egg okay then I might have to unshrink these guys. Okay. Uh, so let's change it all the way back up to one. That's normal size. What? Woo <laughs> it's magic. I'm telling you, it's magic. It's not technology. Uh, okay. Anyway, let's do the piggies too. I mean, the chickens. 
for you guys since you let me put you in a jar <laughs> and carry you back you get to spend the rest of your days in paradise getting fat and lazy <laughs> and you guys thank you for your cooperation awesome now we can get these uh, rigmies down Oh, yeah. Oh, look at it. Oh, that is so good. Oh, look, it's already getting stuff. I think he's happy. Um, I can't. He is so cute. Look at him. Okay, I'm going to click another one on there. Oh, look, there's two of them now. All right, I guess I should have um, put a regular chest there first to see what kind of stuff they give us, but... I guess we'll see when it starts piling up, right? Oh, they're not actually going to send anything because we yeah. haven't put any source jars around. Uh, so, let's throw a couple over here. A couple right there. Now they should start doing stuff, right? I can't see if they're happy or not. So let's turn this off real quick. I can't see it. Uh, how are you supposed to tell if they're happy? Um, does it come in? Do I have to bind them to the chest? I was having problems with this earlier. There, okay. I had to try it several times. See, look, it's not... Maybe it's because, uh... It's an ender chest. It just doesn't seem to be setting their position. Because they're just dancing. I mean, I think their home is the hen, right? It's not dependent on an object. Oh. Well, it costs a lot more energy to unshrink them than to shrink them. It's crazy. Mm. Uh, so there we got it. Um, I'm going to have to see, I guess, if there's any meat or leather joanna i guess it will all come into here maybe the leather and the wool and the feathers stuff like that and eggs we have to take those out I got one cobblestone in there. That's fine. So yeah, we got it set up. I just gotta give it some time now to see 
if it's working properly because I can't get this wand to uh, connect. It's, it's like, I mean, you can see it says no entity set and it's got the position set. So I've just got to link it. And you can't right shift right click on these guys because that clears it. So you have mm -hmm. to right click on them. But it doesn't say that his home has been set or anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I don't know. It's not it's not working. But my, uh, I, I wasn't able to uh, assign this guy to the chest earlier either, but he was still throwing things in there. So I assume that they just automatically bind themselves to the chest. Whoa, look at all. Oh, look, it did get the crimson roots. I was hoping that it would do the vines too, but it does not look like it's getting any of the vines, uh, which kind of makes me sad, but what are you going to do? Look, they're growing grass around everywhere. See, and I might, uh, I was going to say I might hide stuff back here, but this is like right on the edge. This block right here is out of range. So, <laughs> so there we have it. We got our wood farm set up over here. Oh, look, he's already cleared out one whole jar, but we still have two more over here. So he's still going. But see, you can. See, oh, he's extremely happy. He's better than very happy. He's extremely happy. Oh, that is so good. I love it. Uh, <laughs> I get wood, and he's extremely happy too. So it's a win-win. But I can't tell with these guys uh, because I can't see their happiness. Scooch it off of there. Does that work now? Still separate them. Come on, you guys. Get out of there. Okay, now they're separated. Yeah, it's not binding to him at all. Do, 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 do. Um... Let's, let's look. I think let's go back to the book, okay. the Trigby Charm. Happiness. A Trigby considers its home to be 10 blocks in every direction from its home. The Drigme will use this area to produce items from any entities nearby. Your Drigme's efficiency is dependent on its happiness. This may be increased for each entity nearby with a bonus for each unique type in its home. Each Drigme working around a hinge contributes progress. Once maximum progress has been reached, the hinge will generate items. Yeah, that's not okay. To get started, place a chest in a jar of swords next to the hinge. Uh -oh. That says a jar of swords next to the hinge. Oh, but look, it's already taking source. So they must have dropped stuff in there. They had to have. <laughs> Huh? Look at that. We got seven feathers and three leather. Uh, that was a lot of source. If that was all we got. Uh, we got some chicken, some beef, and some pork chop. 
but no sheep. Um, but we didn't get any wool either. No wool, no mutton. Uh, maybe it's just a smaller chance of getting it. But I figured it would have given the wool, like I could get wool <laughs> without killing it. The, the drink me should be really good at it, right? Okay, well, at least we know it's working now. And I can set up this ender chest with a node on it uh, and get it configured the rest of the way. <laughs> anyway, uh, I will go ahead and end the episode here. I will get that finished up off camera. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.